Alright, so let's test some of these uh, PTC polyfuses here. You can see first up we have uh, this 1.5 amp hold and 3 amp trip. So let's turn on the power. So right now it's set to 1.5 amps and what I have kind of found is that it'll pretty much stay at 1.5 amps all day long without much trouble. Um, what you're interested in was I believe uh, maybe 2 amps. Um, it's another 33% above its rated hold current. Now it starts to get a little warm and we'll see if it is guaranteed to trip at 3 amps and if it gets hot enough it'll trip somewhere between uh, 1.5 and there it goes so it just tripped so I turn the current down a little bit and apply an ice cube here and see it just came back to life and trip it again. We make it trip fast if we go up all the way. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Well, I guess you have the YouTube seconds at the bottom. It'd be a lot more accurate than my one, one thousand business. And wow, that ice. Oh, it's still got water on it. Oh, there it goes. So it's a thermal thing. Uh, we'll try real quick before this video gets too long. We'll flip this off and we'll try with a different one. Uh, this one is a 1.35 amp hold current. And it's in the same, that other one was an SMT that I just soldered some legs on. This one is in the same kind of style package as you're thinking about. So, fire up. So we're at 1.6, it's rated for 1.35. Now we wait. And we wait some more. Let me see if it's getting hot. It's not. Um, these ones, these yellow ones I have are... found them in a box somewhere. They're pretty old. So, I don't know if there's an aging issue. Uh, oh, there it goes. So yeah, these yellow ones blow pretty slow. And you see if I cool it down by holding it with my finger or uh, putting an ice cube on it, say. It'll untrip. And then it'll trip again because it's still pretty hot in there. It's actually burning my finger a little bit. So, uh... That is my polyfuse experiments for the day. <laughs>